All right. So we're going to play some Rug Delver today, but i got to work on the deck a little bit before we get into the league. Um, oh, you want Grudge and Afraid? I just got the super. Yeah, so I definitely don't want three of these. I played three in the last league I played just to, like, try it more. But before I get over here, before I get over here, let's play with the main deck. Something I want to try is um, cutting one of these and then playing another spell pierce. But I don't know if that's like, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to do that. <clears throat> Just to get another one of these in, in play. I could also just like keep all four stifles and move library to the board. Oh, I already had 24 viewers. Holy shnikes. Everyone's in here this morning already to rock and roll. <clears throat> this is nonsense. Um, the third one of these is nonsense. <clears throat> also, kind of always like. Okay. I'm going to try it with three stifles in this league. Because, like, I do really like Stifle, but it is a, it is a, uh, effect that it, it becomes redundant, it gets, it's, it's annoying. Yeah. I'm going to maybe get Anna Braid. I think, I don't know, I, I really, I think this card is, like, super good for this deck. Like, I think it's, this card, like, puts you over the top of, like, control decks as well, because it just sits there. It's like a little, it's like a little, uh... Little mini planeswalker. <coughs> Maybe not contr control decks as much as I but like, you know, Grixis and Miracles. I even bring anything in Stoneblade. But I do want one a grade. Uh, how's it going, Tannen? Yeah. I want to put a grudge in this morning. No. Oh. There's only one G in Grudge. No, oh, there's an N in Ancient. Oh my gosh. That's another thing that I like. Um that's another thing that I I like how Winter Orb well oh my god. Oh, where'd you come from? Huh. Is that um, you think, like, I like Winter Orb the best because it works, like, cohesively with the Mana Denial plan, but, like, there's just not enough space, you know, if you want to, there's just not enough space to play it, I feel like. <clears throat> Big sneak or whatever. All right, maybe we'll just give Daryl's deck a whirl again. Let me try this. Winter Orb. I did only play two leagues with two Winter Orbs in my deck. <clears throat> you know what? This is what we'll do. This is what we're going to do. Put these up here. <coughs> yeah, I think this is what I'm gonna give a world to give a world today. Daryl's? I think it's I don't know, I think I think rugs the Le legacy's super flat, so like you know, there's not one deck that's like way better than the other ones. I I, I really like Cinder Vines. I think it's just like a little, it's like a little planeswalker. Yeah, that's the stone blades. Like, it's the D and T that's like the one that sucks. <clears throat> All right, let me 
get this deck on the go here. Clear. Choose deck file. You guys can see the live action card hoarder in its speedy loan program here. Uh, optimize. <clears throat> right now that it's basic lands and DNMs. Like rag like rag before I was more Delver heavy. <coughs> then it's basic lands and tree names. Yep. That makes that makes some sense. I just, I, I really just dislike, <clears throat> I really also just dislike the, the aggro loan was the best challenge deck. Okay. I, I, I don't know how to say this, like, still trying to like, get up and get going. Um, I get my coffee. So Delver Dex and Ancient Tomb. Chalice Dex. Mm-hmm. If you like vines a lot. What I dislike about the two color Delver decks is I feel like they're um is that I dislike how the two color Delver decks, how your deck just doesn't feel like the cards in your deck don't feel that great. I, I would have a plan. What feels good is the basic plans. <clears throat> Like the the basic lands are nice. Okay. What is going on with this order here? We could be on the way. Loan few order. It is stocking. Nice. <coughs> All right. Another thing that I like about this deck, or that where I'm at with Legacy, is that like every Delver deck seems like, you know, just good, not great. This is my favorite, like, nostalgia Delver deck. Because I love Tarn Glyph. I've actually never registered a Tarn. Uh, Never registered Future Sight Tarmogoyfs in a Legacy event, and if I played them this time, they'd be Future Sight ones, which is, you know, exciting. <coughs> All right, play these match. Yeah, I definitely. This deck is feel. I, I just this deck is like nostalgic. I like it. All right, I would like to lead off. <clears throat> this weekend. <clears throat> yeah, it's very good. I'm gonna keep this hand and. <clears throat> And I'm just gonna go fly to string go. Like, my hand's pretty solid. I don't think I gotta ponder right now. <clears throat> I might be able to snap something. Okay. The buff boy. All right, well now I'm gonna ponder. 
Because I'd like to hit my third land. I'm going to go get a Valk. I mean, this is okay as well. I kind of just want to draw Hooting Mandrills because if I have to stub something, or if I have to stub, if I have to stifle or spell pierce something, at least I have the Hooting Mandrills in my hand. And then I'm going to put Daze under it. Get out of my face. All right, my forcing back here. <coughs> I think I'm going to force back. And I think I kind of want to pitch True Name. But, like, if we're playing against a Scrubland deck with Force of Will, True Name's probably going to be pretty nice. So I think I'm going to ditch my Spell Pierce. Means my Mandrels could get plowed, but like... Oh, well that's nice. Now we're just going to play... True Name. Oh, I should have gotten a second green source, because if, if in some weird world our opponent's playing... Uh, wastelands, we can get wasted off Hooting. Okay, that's dead. <clears throat> I do think this deck has improved by cutting um, Mongoose. Jeez. Alright. I will attack first, and I should figure out how to delve in order to not make my voice small. <coughs> Yeah, the goose, the goose is no way now. So what do we got? I got Tarmo Wave's gonna be a four five, so I should just play Goyf. It's more mana efficient. <clears throat> you watch your mouth. <coughs> <coughs> I guess I if they play Fatal Push, this could get pushed, but. Or they go their own true name. Okay. Another Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. So. Do I play the library or do I play Hooting Mandrels? I kind of need to find more action to, like, like another Delver would be nice to just overwhelm this Batter Skull. Like the Hooting Mandrels doesn't match up well, very good against the Batter Skull. So I think I'm just going to play the Library. <coughs> okay. So now we're looking for a Delver. <clears throat> Definitely punished for me fetching a Valk earlier, because I could have gone like double spell there, which would have been nice. All right, well, there's another Goyf. Alright, well, there's another true name. So I'm gonna put this on top. Put this on top. <coughs> the rug delver story. My opponent resolved the living. You'd have taken eight just to. I, I would have taken. Eight if I could have had something else to do. Oh. That's bad. Alright. 
I'd like to find out a green land. Okay. So now we can at least go Delver Goyf. So I'm going to put this, put this on top. Well, actually, I kind of want to pay four life because if I just pay eight, I have more of a chance of hitting a land drop. So I can go like Delver plus Goyf and then Goyf Mandrills next turn. <clears throat> like I do just kind of have to like stomp my opponent here pretty quick. <clears throat> yes, that as well. <clears throat> Sylvan Library. This is another one of my favorite cards. Okay. Now the Goyf is mega huge. My opponent kind of has to attack, right? I'm going to just block this. Whip to Lightning Bolt. Isn't that just how we do it? <clears throat> Alright, so I want this. I'm gonna, it doesn't, like, what am I doing? Just in case this all, <clears throat> just in case this all goes wrong, I kind of want to waste them off blue, bolt, and then play Tarmogoyf. So let's put this on top. Let's pay for life. Both this, swing in, wasteland, harm life. You talking about the first time? <clears throat> okay. I know I want at least the I don't know if I want all of these. But I think I want at least these six for some maybes here, kind of like the maybe pile. <clears throat> I don't know what to cut. I like all my cards. Trim one of these in the draw. Keep my dazes. And trim like a spell pierce in the draw. Because like... The everything kind of revolves around Stoneforge Mystic. <clears throat> yeah. You wouldn't you wouldn't board in any of them. You would just revolve like try to make the game revolve around Stoneforge Mystic. Which is kind of what it comes down to. Like it's it's kind of like Mystic or Blessed. <clears throat> yeah, that's why this was definitely like the maybe pile. I have liked Flusterstorm less and less out of Stoneforge Mystic decks. Or against Stoneforge Mystic deck, excuse me. Trim one of these. I still don't have enough cards to take out. I cut one more Force of Will. And then we're like, this is kind of what our deck looks like. <clears throat> Maybe the Winter Orb's not that great if we're on the draw. <clears throat> I just don't know what to cut. <clears throat> Winter Orb's probably slow on the draw. So. I kind of aborted my own Flusterstorm to win Flusterstorm battles. <clears throat> you know, Morgan says I can't really build a board state. Okay, that makes sense. I think this is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> okay, Blast, 2 and I, I've zoned out with that. There's, there's still a Blade deck. They definitely have true name. We're waking up. <clears throat> All right.
Okay. Well, now I'm just going to hold up <clears throat> Spell Snare, hope, hopefully anything right here. Then untap, play Tarmalife. All right, well, now we're going to... <clears throat> this good morning to you, Tannen. Well, now I really don't want to just jam this Tarmalife. <clears throat> I'd like to ponder for another land, I think. They may double fetch here. And if they do, we might get to wasteland them. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. <clears throat> okay. Then I will play my wasteland. And I will pass the turn. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I think it's okay if they flush the store in that ponder. 44 viewers already in here this morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic start to your day. All right, that's not what I wanted to draw. I think I'm just gonna go, <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna play Tarmogoyf and I, I think I'm gonna hold the Wasteland <clears throat> to brainstorm away. I do, I do kind of have to get on the board. And I could just wait to go like Force of Will plus Spell Pierce like a true name. If my opponent forces back, or like spell snare a stone forge mystic, but like if I don't do anything, I'm gonna end up losing a long game anyways. <laughs> All right. All right. Take it easy, Lawrence. <clears throat> Why'd you do that? I kind of want to, I mean, I got to force this. Ditch. Probably Spell Pierce at this point. The Snare might convert into another one of these, or a Baleful Strix. All right, untap, dang it. Can't beat that. The Rock Delver story. Jesus. Lingering Souls. Alright. <coughs> I mean, we can just chew through these Lingering Souls tokens. But, like, if, I'm glad that wasn't a true name. Many a league with Rock Delver. I would like to draw a brainstorm. All right, that's not bad. <laughs> what are the odds this guy's got like Supreme Verdict? If I play my Delver, I can clear. I can use these. I can convert these bolts to like clear the way off of these and just like put more pressure on. I think just sitting here with one creature against a Lingering Souls deck is just going to get me in trouble. <clears throat> so my opponent verdicts me. They verdict me. Cowards can't block warriors. Well, I have a target for Wasteland boys. Oh, this isn't good.
Why won't you attack? Oh, I must have just had a misclick. <clears throat> oh, that makes sense. All right, well, now I think I'm going to waste this because it might turn like this days on against the Jace. <clears throat> I want to hold it to like hopefully they just fetch a black source here that I can waste. In case he goes land plus chase. What do, what do you mean? I'm confused. If he goes land plus chase, what, what does that mean having this in my hand? Oh, you're talking about waste the days the uh, waste the waste the fetch land and then respond with the days. You're right. Yep. I forget that one. Yep. All right, we won't make the same mistake twice. <clears throat> yes. They have been medium. Okay. So now if I go waste this, <clears throat> I guess I just play my true name nemesis. Waste this because then I can still daze a batter skull. The best one's probably the blue red one. I'm gonna play this for just I'm gonna do it anyways, but they might just daze me for some weird reason. Lawrence, you 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 stifle hater. That's a problem. I guess it's not that bad. Like it's 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 annoying. Well, I guess it's pretty bad. <clears throat> so if I daze this, then he can't equip this turn. And he's like, that's probably the best. I think that's the best that I'm going to get out of this thing. So it goes and gets Batter Skull. Yeah, we can like start to clear up the board. I'm gonna, definitely just going to bolt this Stoneforge Mystic, make them tap 5 mana for their Batter Skull. Because <clears throat> then they can't tap 5 and equip it. So, bolt this. Like, they have to draw a land. I'm going to play my Trop. <clears throat> okay. Sounds good. So now I can't bolt this thing, right? <clears throat> anyway, we're just attacking.
and not really much we can do here. <clears throat> I mean, at least our opponent's going to have to start using counters to gain life. But, like, they've got, what, eight life stored up here? This one looks like a bit of a lost cause. Block, attack, one bolt. Game two life. All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna scoop it up. What can I draw? I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to waste this. Play another Wasteland and pass. Like, if I draw, like, a... <clears throat> if I draw a... Um, but I guess my opponent's just going to move this batter Skull over here. And then I'm going to be dead as a doorknob. Okay, looks like they're not doing that. <clears throat> I draw a way to kill this jet, maybe, but it's not looking that great. <clears throat> Six counters, 12 life. They can just pump this. They can just kill me next turn with this. All right, I'm good. I yield. <clears throat> okay, so let's trim some wastelands. I kind of want this back on the play. And I kind of like like winter or back on the play. So like these are maybes. Like this is another this is another maybe. And then these blasts are maybes. <clears throat> Could trim this. We probably don't need that much removal. We probably can deal with less removal while we're on the play because we're going to be able to deal with Stoneforge Mystic a little easier. The electricery seems too cute. Let me look at this. What do we think about this? <clears throat> I think this is what I'm going to do. Yeah, we're going to give this a try. Oh, 50, oh man, 58 cards. Jeez, from Crow. We're not doing that. Let's get this. Then maybe I should just have the one of the random electricery. Now, let's just bring in the static caster because it pitches to force. It's a three drop with only. You know, with less lands, but we'll figure it out. <clears throat> the old no land heater, the two land heater, hands pretty good. Put that on top, fetch it away. What sucks is like I feel like I almost have to. If they go to kill this, like, force it. You know, because, like, my Delver's not... I don't have anything else to do. If I had another cantrip, then maybe I could be more aggressive. But I wonder if it's actually correct to force there. If they went to plow this. Probably not, because they also have, like, Ring Ring Souls in their deck. Um, 
My opponent plays fast. Because, like, they're, I mean, I'm not, I don't play super quickly, but they're like six minutes ahead of me. <clears throat> All right, we'll just keep on chugging. It would be nice to have one there. <clears throat> Definitely got a daze of lingering souls here. Then pierce it on the back end. <clears throat> Drawing a wasteland would be nice right now. Because we just make sure the spell pierce is live for the second half of Lingering Souls. That's nice. Now I wish I had my days. The little planeswalker. <clears throat> I'm a big fan. I, I really like this card. Force, pitch, spells in there. <clears throat> okay, they're going to get back, but I wonder if they kill this. They probably have to kill this. Okay. They kind of have to kill the Delver, but like the Cinder Vines is also going to do work. <clears throat> All right, I vote for the same thing. Another Delver, Hooting Mandrels. Ponder's not bad. Um, I'm gonna give myself the option to hit Hooting Mandrels, I think. But I'm not gonna play it, because I wanna be able to Spell Snare a, uh, a Stoneforge Mystic. That's kinda nice. <clears throat> like is it all about just protect the cinder vines at this point or do I need to find a threat because <clears throat> if I keep this I kind of need to make it all about Try to figure out how to make it all about cinder vines. So I can draw a force, then put winter orb, then a pyroblast. That's gonna slow the game down a lot. I'm gonna try it here. So I'm gonna go like this, draw a force of will, pass the turn. All right, so that doesn't really. <clears throat> the winner orb. You might have drawn red next. I think I have to force this because. It, it's going to make me trade, like, I want to keep this around to try to win the game. And I also might tap my opponent out. And if I keep this around to try to win the game, then, yeah, I'm going to force this. Okay. And then we're going to slam this orb. <clears throat> Now 
And now the game kind of grinds to a halt. <clears throat> disenchant, send a disenchant, winner orb. Okay. <clears throat> Toba works out. So drawing a new card. Get that Snapcaster out of here. Okay. Hey, how's it going, Cody? All right, we're trying to squeak over the line here. Batter skull. Now we're in trouble because we're gonna get into like a we're gonna get into a fight over the with the Stoneforge Mystic because like they can now sort of like invalidate the Cinder Vines a little bit if they keep this around. Oh man. Now I'm in trouble. The Rug Delver story, I'm in trouble. <clears throat> and I probably have to pop it and then hope to. Because I don't want them to gain life. Pop it and hope there's a land on top of my deck. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, land. Well, there's the land. I, I tapped like this because um, I tapped like that because I wanted to be able to cast Scooting Mandrels if I found it, but maybe that's incorrect as well. <clears throat> so they're going to go up to nine, and then we can play True Name. And then we're just kind of in a staring contest, which isn't great. Oh my god, they're not attacking with this. That means they probably have something cool to put on this thing. The game is slowly slipping out of control. I don't think I want to draw my cinder binds. Or maybe I just need this tarmo need this true name to survive to win the game. <clears throat> and if I if the true name survives, I, I think I'd like the Cinder Vines to kind of help slow the game down a little bit. I think if this true name gets countered, then because I only have what one more force left in my deck. If the true name gets countered, I'm going to lose anyways, and I think I want the Cinder Vines. No, I want another threat. Let's shuffle this thing away. Staring contest against a Batter Skull. Not good. I don't know how to make VIPs or any of that stuff. Do I, do I look like I am that, am that coordinated there, Mr. Jones? All right. Don't kill my true name, bro. Like, Sword of Fire and Ice. Okay. Alright. Alright. I yield. I yield. Close match. Really close match. I wish those were matches that we were, I was winning. 
I don't know. I don't know if I made a mistake. I'm only in the six in game two, but I had my sideboard card. And I had a Delver on one. So I don't know. If 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 those are the matches you're not winning, it kind of feels bad. My opponent's won three. So hopefully we get a win out of this one anyways. <clears throat> So I'm not brainstorming any turn. Cloud post. I might brainstorm any turn. Alright. I think I'm gonna brainstorm any turn now. So I'd like to hit a Delver or Tarloif. Alright, we hit a Delver. So let's flip this Delver. Plus is the Goyf gonna be more damage? And it's not. So let's put back the Lightning Bolt first, and then the Goyf. The Delver will flip to the Bolt. Let's have to Spell Pierce something here, which, which I will do. Maybe I'm supposed to play Goyf, because Goyf's like guaranteed two damage, and if I get to force something, it's likely larger. Yeah, I think I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. Because now if this thing doesn't... Like I would have... I guess I'd be down a card. So we got to hope this thing flips. <clears throat> Does not flip. I deserve that. I'm just going to attack, play Goyf, and play my land. I could play True Name, but it's my blue card. And we get a Scry action with our Delver here. <clears throat> I don't feel confident about the direction of this game. I have Ugin. All right. Come on, flip. I mean, we have a good clock if this thing flips. No, I mean, that's still a good clock. We're just going to turn everybody sideways. And we're not going to play around all his dust. I'm just pretty okay losing to that card. <clears throat> I guess I should have got a trop. I always just auto get bulk, and that's not always correct. Because if I had, like, I'm not going to cast more than one red spell at a turn. There's a chance I get, like, library plus mandrels. So we potentially crack our opponent for 10 next turn, which is pretty great. Yeah, I should have got a trop. I always just like auto get vault, but I should have definitely chopped it up. Yeah, well, I should have needed the delay. I should have had my head out of it and done that myself. <clears throat> so why did uh, why did Benny wake you up early, Tannen? Was uh. Is she, uh, she feeling okay, or she just wanted to get up at that point? <sighs> Bathroom? Okay. That's good. I'm going to leave my slippers on. My feet are kind of cold. Ancient Tomb. That might speed the clock up. Just pass back out. <clears throat> I 
Okay. I'm surprised they're letting my Delver flip. Because they could just... Okay. Uh, no, we're not going to reveal that. <clears throat> Next target for bit. That's what I thought was. It's like, I don't know. I think I think I think all the Delver decks are kind of medium. They're like all the decks in Legacy feel kind of medium except for Storm. Like I think Storm's really good. But like the mana denial is not great, but like your green creatures are huge. Um I also don't know like what the right configuration of cards are to like because like I like Winter Orb. <laughs> I like Winter Orb because it works with the mana denial plan, but then you run out of Sideboard slots, I feel like. I don't know. Yeah, I'm the same way. Like I think Storm I think Storm's like I think Storm's the nut. Really. Like The problem with the blue red Delver deck is I feel like all of your I, I just think your decks like spell for spell, I think your deck's underpowered. But the basic lands are nice. We're going to get on that take eight plan here, probably. <clears throat> I need to refill my coffee. I should have done that when I got up. Take it easy, Cody. All right, that's a problem. We can draw out of that, though. Like a Goy for Mandrels. Right on time. Oh man, this ponder makes the Tarmogoyf larger than the Endbringer, which is nice. I just take eight. Go to seven. Yeah, I was just going to take eight. I don't think they play Reality Smasher if they're on this version of the deck. And even if they play Smasher. No, nah, I'm just going to take four. Put on top, pay for life, ponder first. <clears throat> and I could keep the ponder just to look at one more card, but I can do that for free without using any mana by shuffling it. So, all right, there's another big boy. Let's get in here and attack. This is what I like about this deck. I, I like the big creatures. When the, in the matchups where the big creatures matter, I really like this deck. We're getting a little punished for not fetching our trop. I guess not really, because we couldn't. It's not like we could double spell here, anyways. My opponent can like block and ping next turn. But that's kind of a losing proposition. Okay. Here's the big question of the day. Do I want to get all his dusted? If I play a Goyf, then I beat my opponent through a blocker next turn, which is probably worth it. I don't know how many all his dusts this deck plays. We have a Hooting Manager with also a follow-up, which is a two-turn clock on its own, and with a library, we're gonna be able to find what we need. So I'm just going to play this. Kills him through a blocker. And if I get all his dusted... I guess if I get all his dusted, the library's not there. Forgot about that. No, yeah, they don't have it now. They would have done it last turn. It's, it's pretty... It's, they could have blockers, which would make sense. <clears throat> All right, nice. 
Okay. Cards I like. I don't know enough about this deck to know if it's like because of the Cloud Ghost variant. I'm gonna assume it's a Chalice deck. I'm not. Ex I'm not super confident with what's the sideboard here. But I think these are what I want, and then this Vapor Snag is also a maybe. <clears throat> Cards I'm not interested in. Stifle does not seem great. I kind of want to keep my Tar Fire because it's going to keep my Goyf. It's just going to make my Goyf massive. Daze isn't that great. Neither is Spell Pierce. Spell Snare probably only hits Chalice and Jet, which is pretty marginal on the draw. So maybe I just go these five for these five. I don't actually know if it's correct for this to board in. Like, I, I'm not super confident in this, but I'm just going to give it a try. I actually could bring this Dead Gone, too. I'm going to cut one Spell Pierce, and then I'm going to try this. I think I'm gonna board say I'm gonna board pretty differently on the play. But I'm just gonna try all these. I'm not very confident that this is correct, but it's what we're here to do today. <clears throat> so it's like I like this hand, but I'm just stone dead to chalice on one. That being said, if there's a Cloud Post variant, they have less ways to play Chalice on one. I think about a mulligan. If I'm on the draw and I hit, can find like a Force of Will in my opener or a Cinder Vines or an Ancient Grudge is good. Yeah, Days is just a hope to be able to hit a creature in the mid game. I always have it. <laughs> I'm going to mulligan. We're on the draw. Like, all right. So I like this hand much better. Put on the bottom. Because, like, if if they do chalice me, at least I've got a slow answer to it that I might hit. Okay, we're not getting chaliced, which is nice. Gonna play my I could brainstorm to try to hit a second land to make it so I could get my Cinder Vines or Library in play. But, like, that seems kind of like playing scared. Might upkeep this, bra upkeep this brainstorm. At turn two, Thought Nuts here is annoying. Oh, okay. Well, now we're not gonna brain upkeep in our brainstorm. Our brainstorm. <laughs> We're going to upkeep in our brainstorm. We're not going to brainstorm in our upkeep. Now I don't even think I'm going to brainstorm anyways. We're just going to get another one of these out. <clears throat> I'm going to brainstorm in a turn so that I can flip my Delver and then do something. Whether that's play Tarmogoyf or um, get Library going. All right, I think it's worth brainstorming to hit a force of will here. I'm kind of going to feel bad if, like, I hit, like, a Tarmogoyf. That sucks. That sucks. So do I hide my Goyf? Probably hide Tower Goyf. <clears throat> Dude, naps are good for you. Naps are good for the soul. I think I'm going to put Tower Goyf two points, two cards down. And then flip to Lightning Bolt. Or I could put the... Uh, no, I'm going to put the Brainstorm on top. Flip to Brainstorm. Because then I could Brainstorm into... Um... I could brainstorm into like a Tarmogoyf or Lampless um, 
into a land and with the Tarmogoyf. We have to look at two other cards. And we're going to put a Hurtin' on him. Like, you know, this Ancient Tomb is going to add up. Took Library, okay. So now that they took Library, I'm just going to Brainstorm because I don't have anything that I really want to do with my mana. We're definitely attacking, and then I'm going to brainstorm off the Valk, and then play our, our Thick Boy. <clears throat> this is where I get punished a little bit for not having the Dismember in my deck. Tilt. That sucks. Maybe I messed up. All right, um, I guess I'm just going to draw a Tarmogoyf. That tar fire is going to help it get larger at some point. But there's a chance that we just, all the burns just going upstairs. I can do a trick where I um, lightning bolt days to make a second red. No plays from our opponent, please. I could kill this Thought Nuts here next turn, I guess. But I would like to have Tarmogoy in play before I do that. I have to trade three cards for it, but I get another card out of it. And it's a card I'm not likely going to be able to convert. This Cinder Vines has been no bueno. We have 57 viewers. I, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out this morning. I hope you're all having a good start to your day. But this burn might just go all upstairs, because, like, all right, well, now we're going to have to get this Cinder Vines in play at some point. You on the front page of Twitch? I don't know. I was on the front page of Twitch? Oh, man. I should retire. So now I have to do some thinking. So, play vines, crack them to seven. They crack me for seven, I go to eight. Shoot this. They go to seven. Attack. They go to four. So if they tap their ancient tomb, they're dead. So. I'm just going to get this out here. Yeah, I should retire. If I was on the front page of Twitch, holy shnikes. Should just call it. It's not getting any better. <coughs> All right, they cracked me. Alternatively, because they have a lightning bolt, I can just go bolt, bolt, and kill them. All right, I think we got it. Like, I'll go lightning bolt, daze my lightning bolt, pay for it, pick up my vault, play my vault, bolt them again. I guess now I can do it with tar fire. Nice. No, I can't. I can't because of the cinder vines. Because I have to pop here. Dirt. Uh, you can have if my opponent played a land this turn. They played Caracas, so I'll just I guess I'll just give them the temple. Make them go down to get the Endbringer. Any plans play some Rex Shadow Day? We're just gonna keep it going. No, not today. I, I gotta I'm practicing for the Grand Prix. So that's where most of my 
attention has gone recently. Are they still dead? Yeah, they're still dead. Nice. Let's make sure that we tap appropriately. Got him. All right. Okay, nice. One on one. Hopefully, we can turn it around. Also, yeah, I've had a lot of fun with modern lately. I've had a lot of fun playing Legacy lately. Like. Everything's super flat in Legacy at the moment. Like, everything's just even. So the games have been really fun. Alright, I would like to play. I would like to mulligan. I would like to keep. I'm going to lead off. I like to put this on the bottom. A third land might be good if we get library in play, but we have to get library in play. I'm going to stifle anything here. It would be sick if my opponent goes wasteland. Wasteland go, wastelands me, and then I get to stifle them. That sucks. Because now my, my library is likely to get dazed. All right, if they don't have it, this is pretty solid for me. It sets them back. <clears throat> okay. All right, it's going to grow my Goyf, which is nice. <clears throat> no flip is decent. What did Foothills? Is it Bush League? to play Wooded Foothills in your Rug Delver deck? Or does like everybody know what's going on with that? Gross. <clears throat> it feels Bush League to do that. Because like... Yeah, they're definitely blue-red. Force of Will. You don't say. We could get run out of the gym here. <clears throat> Spells out of this. Let it go. Nice. All right. I think I'm just going to play this Tarmogoyf. That's got to suck, right? I can brainstorm to look at one more card. Which I'm going to do. I have a feeling there's a true nemesis in my future. Jeez. <clears throat> I really wanted to hit either another land or a lightning bolt for this. Now I think I'm just dead as a doorknob. Maybe that was loose to do. I don't know. But this Delver is going to beat my face in. What I was wondering is that if it's Bush League to play Wooded Foothills in your Rug Delver deck. Because, like, um, because it's pretty obvious. Like, if somebody goes Wooded Foothills, go. Do they know you're playing Rug Delver? But, like, you get sometimes, like, I want to disguise my land. Well, now we're going to just play this Goyf. Prayer. We have one more dead draw. Our opponent's got force in their hand, so. Tarns went up to 120. I guess there's a chance that I could have won this race. Like, I didn't really evaluate. All right. 
force what blue card. Alright, I scoop. I scoop. Okay, so blasts are good against against this deck. Bluster Storm is also good. Um, Spell Pierce and Spell Snare are kind of medium. Like it does hit Young Pyromancer, which is nice. I kind of want another Dead Gone. And I can probably cut one Spell Snare. Keep all this. I just feel like you're going to, like, are, are people going to sniff out that you're playing Rug Delver if they see Wooded Foothills go? You know? And if you go Wooded Foothills, fetch Volcanic Island, I guess everyone's going to be like, all right, they're playing Blue Red or, or Rug. Probably should board in my one Electricery just as a catch up mechanic. I have a feeling that Spell Snare is pretty bad. Like, it just hits Young Pyromancer, but we've got a million ways to answer that. I can Spell Snare a Daze. Nah. All right, I'm going to submit. <clears throat> Static Caster. Is only Trickery better than Static Caster? Because, like, this gets killed. Sometimes you don't always get... I don't know. It might be. So this matchup's all about like getting a big getting a getting a big green creature into play. Cause like they can't kill the big green the big green creatures. Alright. I'm gonna keep. We have force to pair with force. Which is nice. All right, I'm going to go like this. Having another land is going to be nice. And the lightning bolt's good. And then we can go looking like fetch and ponder on our next turn. I'm going to fetch because I get to look at one free card. Or one new card, excuse me. Alright, there's our big boy. Though, God, the rest of the cards I'm taking with this are so awful. I guess one more land isn't that bad. Because it's going to just let me build up to like more more stuff. I don't know. And if I go land if I play my land, I can go force of will plus fluster storm with true name nemesis. Which is nice. I have to make sure to fetch. Our target wave's not gonna get bolted because there's not an instant in the graveyard. I'm just going to Fluster Storm this. Get Goyf in play. I'm a little softer to true name, but like, you know, such is life. They need to have like land plus true name nemesis plus forest blue card. So it'd have to be four out of their five cards in order to get me. Storm, you got it. Terry could get a little scary here. But the good news is we got a big green boy in play. And that that's that's what we need to win here. And nothing from our opponent is nice. 
Ooh, baby. I'm going to get the smack that. So, Stifle, Flusterstorm. I'm going to play my land because I, I might get up to Hardcast Force of Will. Just did not fetch, okay? <clears throat> the tan and gray story we call that msrp force of well <clears throat> full retail we're sitting pretty good in this game one two three four five Honestly, he doesn't do MSRP anymore. All right, I'm going to bolt this. How many spells did they cast? Hang on. They cast two, three, four, so I should untap and bolt it. I guess I could have stifled the polluted delta anyways, so that was probably loose. Get in here with a big green boy. Play another big green boy. All right. If I force of will back, my opponent's dead on the board. But they could play like one, two, three, four, five. Six. I can play Terramander and adapt it. I think I'm just going to let this go. It's a little painful to... What do you got? You got true name, then you got force plus blue card behind it. Yeah, I'm gonna force this. All right, we got them down. We got them in bolt range. It's a nice draw. So let's attack first, and then I'm just gonna brainstorm on my turn because I might hit. Like Hooter. We also hit Delver. So I'm going to put this back, put Brainstorm on top. Play Delver. Because we can Brainstorm into the Dead Gone if we need to. F6. Is that Team Nova? It could be. Okay. So on the draw, I want one less Stifle, and I want one more Force for sure. That's probably it. Nah, they bust, them. They bust playing cards. <laughs> Drake did well. Drake Sasser's like my magic hero. They busy, oh. Yeah, Sasser's the man. Nah, I think this is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> uh, we don't have a green boy, but we have three lands and a ponder, and we have a removal spell, so I'm going to keep. I'd be much more happy if we had a green boy, but... It's not where we're at in life. If we had the Tarmogoy for the Jolly Green Giant. I'm just going to do this now so that they daze, I can daze back, and they don't untap. Please is in a little bit of trouble to, like, a Pyromancer. But we can daze a Pyromancer, and then we can at least, if they daze back, we can force it. Yeah, you got it, sir. 
Yeah, I like the way Drake thinks about the game. Drake watched my stream one time when I was playing a Delver deck, and I, he did me some learning. I appreciated it. So I'm actually, I, I kind of don't want to play my land, because if my opponent dazes, then like, whatever. But we're going to have days plus fours for true name. Yeah, I'm not going to play my land. If they daze this, they daze this, whatever. Huh. All right, all these are good. I'm going to draw the bolt. And then I'm just going to pass. And we'll depend on, we'll think about drawing the ponder or not. I'll probably draw one ponder. I don't know. <clears throat> Finding another lightning bolt there is nice. I could also just play my Wasteland next turn, so if my opponent goes True Name, I can hit him with that Wasteland Days trick. I'm going to draw one Ponder, and I don't want to crack my Fetch yet. So, all right, there's Hooter. I can play Hooter. But do I even want to do that? I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to draw Force, put Hooter on top, and then Ponder underneath it, and just play my Wasteland, and then just, or I could just, but I'm tapping out, but I have double Force. I don't have a second blue card, though, and they might make my days irrelevant. I want to make my days relevant, and I have excess lands, so I'm going to go like this. Play this and pass. Okay. All right. So our opponent figured it out. Oh, that's annoying. So now do I just go force pitch days? Are you playing this wasteland was too cute? I really don't want to do that into the face of blast. And I can just untap and then try to lightning bolt this thing. Because my hooting mandrels is going to help out a lot with what's going on here. All right, like you get a, you get a token. Okay, lightning bolt. Play my land. Bolt this. My top card. Okay, I will pay with my Wasteland. My top card is a Ponder, and I think, all right, I think that I want to keep that top card, because if I have to go Force, 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 you know, if I have to fight over a True Name Nemesis, then I really don't want to, I'm going to want the Ponder to rebuild. Force of Will, Pitch, Ponder. Because if they blast this, I can daze. Okay. All 
Okay, we're looking for another green boy. No green boys. Do I want to trade three for four? Do I want to trade? So four, it goes 13, 12. I don't think I want to trade because if I find another green creature, it just completely sets the board up. I'm going to hold my land because I can't hard cast forcible anyways. This turn, but I'll play it next turn. They have two mountains. Hmm. All right, we gotta get that out of here. Don't blast me, bro. Okay. All right, so now we're running on empty. It's green man. Maybe I should be attacking. Now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. I didn't board this out? All right, well, I thought I did. I'm going to make a land drop because I might want to do a lot of things next turn. Do I trade through four for six? No. My electricery is gone too, which is kind of annoying. Not winning this race. All right, well, there's one. All right, I gotta put this on top. Put this on top. Attack. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm going to fetch probably before. Maybe I'm getting punished for not attacking. I should have done this before because if they just counter this, then, I mean, I'm in a lot of trouble anyways, but. I think I'm going to shuffle. before I library. Because I, I have a brainstorm that, a, that the fluster storm's kind of dead. So I could just take the brainstorm and see one new card off library and then potentially, yeah, so I'm, I'm not gonna shuffle. I need to find bodies. All right, put on top, put on top. I guess I just crack my fetch. There's bodies. I guess I would just put back these two, attack, play goif. So hang on, this is seven, puts in the six, and then this, I'm dead to lightning bolt, but like, such is life. If I go block, bolt, still dead to lightning bolt, block, still dead to, yeah, so I can't, I can't beat lightning bolt. So I might as well make it to where the true name is lethal. And a lightning bolt on its on its own next turn.
If I want to hard cast Force of Will, okay. Block. This just smells like a lightning bolt. There's no one damage thing, or there's no point in bolting this. Oh, no, we couldn't beat that. I wonder what happened in this game. We got another red source. I wonder how that would work. We would draw if I had another red source. Tight game. I've had, I've had like we're we're on the wrong end of it, but I've had three really good matches. Bolt back to assert dominance. Had really good matches today, which has been nice. Playing Legacy is just fun. Like, the games are good. <clears throat> I appreciate everybody that's been watching today, though. Up to 62 viewers. You guys are you guys are great. And I'm going to keep this. Bolt Self. Misty Rainforest. Okay. I'm going to wasteland my opponent. If we lose a copy on stack, or if I have chain lightning. I have no idea. I'm definitely just gonna wasteland them. Well. Because what are we playing against? We're playing against Grixis Control or Storm? God, what a compliment. Holy shnikes. I'm going to get that thing framed. I'm just going to go like this. Because I can convert this or this. And then... And I, I don't know if I want a wasteland because I have a true name. Yeah, but it still lets me take the game actions, right? Or is that just a... I guess it goes back on the stack. Now I'm definitely going to waste them. That worked out solid for the home team there. <clears throat> you want to pay if you pay, you shouldn't take the damage. It looks like any legends, but after I lose another thing, this stack doesn't exist yet. All right, we're chugging on up here, this true name. I think we're playing against... I always want to assume we're playing against Storm, because I think it's just, like, the better deck. Yeah, we're playing against Storm. I don't really need to make my land drop right now. So, and if we get Discard Spell, having this Brainstorm post-Discard Spell is nice. The only way that I lose out there... I guess there's six threats I could hit that I would want to play. All right, so I am going to end a turn brainstorm now. All right, so there's our land, and there's Hooning Mandrels. So what do I not want? Probably these Lightning Bolts. I probably can just shuffle away these Bolts. No, it's definitely Storm because of this Bloodstained Mire, I think. So I'm just going to get rid of these Bolts. Fetch in my Upkeep. And then I'm, I'm not going to play True Name. I'm going to play Hooter. 
I'm gonna play Hooter and Delver now. <clears throat> so my opponent's got three four timer wipe, we've got three four timer wipe, so it doesn't really matter. We definitely have to turn the heat up here if we're gonna try to beat Storm, which might be the argument of keeping some lightning bolts, but we've got force plus blue card plus two forms of interaction. We were dead. Okay. Yep, you got it, sir. It's nice we have spell snare for exactly the infernal tutor. We don't know our top card, so we can do the old Delver Scry action. Yes, and we don't want Lightning Bolt because we have 7 and 7 anyways. So I'm just going to get another Trop, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I think Nimble Mongoose just isn't that good. It's a very sad part of life. That's just where we're at. This is getting spell snared. I love spell snare. This is getting dazed. Cost one mana. One mana is a lot. It's not is a lot cheaper than three. Three is like infinite mana. Um all right. I'm just gonna force this. They would need another because if they have like a discard spell, they can get me. They need another lotus petal to make mana. Okay. All right, so on the draw, I have like a million cards to bring into this matchup. So it's likely my board has to be adjusted a little bit. Because like I know I want these. Like, and then these are like my maybe pile. I don't like library on the draw. And then none of my bolt cards are that great. So I think I'm just gonna bring in two cinder vines. Um, I'm like going down to 17 lands when I don't have any three drops in my deck. I'm just gonna try this for science here. We're just going to we're on the draw. I just want I want to. I haven't gotten to play with this very much, so I just want to bring it in. Yeah, this hand's decent. We'll give this a keep. I think I'm just going to waste that. I just want to use every single opportunity I have to wasteland something. Any way I can do to disrupt their mana is... That's part of the reason I like this deck. I mean, I, I like... I like disrupting mana bases. I probably should play like lands. Be a real estate agent. Get that Tim Schultz action. All right, well now I'm gonna ponder. All right. 
All right, well, that's what we want. God, it sucks to draw more lands, but I'm going to draw a land no matter what, so I might as well not have it be the Cinder Vines. <clears throat> Ooh, opponent. You only have one land. So we have goblins covered, which is nice, which is a way for them to beat cinder vines. I'm going to get some more coffee. I'll be right back. Which is no longer played. Okay. So I will ponder. I really like this card. What do I want? I guess I should just draw the Brainstorm because I can Brainstorm into Force plus blue card. And then play a land. I guess I should have put the Ponder on top. I do have to find a threat here pretty soonish. LED, okay. I can trade my Cinder Vines for that Lion's Eye Diamond. So I get to see two new cards off this Brainstorm, and then I get to see a bunch off of the Ponder, so we're not going to shuffle beforehand. Okay, so let's get rid of this, and then let's get rid of this. He, could, he, he might not want to, to discard. Our Delver is set to flip. All right, nothing from our opponent. I'm going to reveal Stifle, and then I'm going to shuffle it away. All right, you've got it. Because, like, I can just pop it in response to the first ritual. All right, my opponent takes Stifle. So now I'm just going to draw the Stifle, I think, because it turns on my Force. Yeah. Now we're in good, we're in good shape. All right, opponent is not finding any lands, which sucks. All right, well, now we can hard cast force. So let's just play this land, attack. Okay. You gotta cast six spells, dude. I'm just gonna blast this. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's get get our get our three two and then get out of here. Do 
give me one second. All right, I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. All right, I will keep. We want a big boy. We want a big green dude. Uh-oh. Danger. Danger. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. I could like play because I could play Tarmogoyf, but I'd rather just not. I'd rather just not. <laughs> this is probably the best way to put it. That's probably it. And I doubt these stifles are very good. <clears throat> these spell pierces, spell snares, dazes. Maybe one of these is better. Maybe like paper snag is better than like one of those. I don't I probably don't need three spell pierces. Vapor Snag might be able to get me out, get like a reality smash out of the way or something like that. I don't know. I would like to play first. And I would like to keep. I have a Delver plus a Wasteland and a Daze. So like, you know, what more could a guy ask for? Phase that, and I'm going to waste this. We flip to a ponder, nice. Get that out of my face. <clears throat> wow. I'm just going to play another Delver. 
Because even if my opponent like chalices me, if I have two Delvers in play, then whatever. All right, we had two really nice interactive games of Magic the Gathering. Um, all my cards get so much worse on the draw. Is like stifling vault key gonna actually do anything to me? For me? I don't have any idea. This is what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm not proud of this sideboard configuration, but like what else am I gonna do? I have no idea. All right, I'm going to keep this because we can beat a Chalice. It's slow, but we can beat Chalice on one. Can't really beat that. Or that. So here's a big question. Do I wasteland my opponent? I think I do. Kind of hope they don't have anything going on. I kind of just want to waste them. But, like, I'm not building up to my Tarmogoyf, which is kind of a problem. I'm going to waste them. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Damn it. Okay. I kind of just want to waste my opponent again because like I've got the lands to get up there. My opponent can't have a lot going on. I think we've started on this on this train. I'm going to continue on it. I don't know if this is correct. Like, it, there's a chance that I shouldn't have wasted them to start with, but like here we are. Shoot. They didn't even untap their finger jigger. Here's the big question. Do I Cinder Vines this? Hopefully they just play another three ball. Eight mana. Oh, this is a tough way to go out. Both teams tried hard. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It probably was a mistake to wasteland and start. Let's go back over the deck here. 
I like this deck, but I don't know. I just don't know. You know, like, there's... the Like, the problem is I don't think any of the Delver decks are super great at the moment. Because... Um, the Stoneblade decks are everywhere. Um, the Stoneblade decks are everywhere, and those are going to beat up on the Delver decks. I think in order to fight on a land access, you just have to dilute your deck to make it worse. Like, I think, I think all the two-color Delver decks are pretty weak. So... I'm not sure. I'm probably going to play this deck because I like it, but I don't know. But we're going to send you guys over to um, another Legacy streamer. So, ARK. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Um, make sure you hit the follow button on the way out. And besides that, I hope everyone has a great Sunday. I will see you all next time.